is a big protagonist a problem for a shonen story? This is something I've been asking myself because recently there's been a huge wave of Yuji slander. He went from being one of the most loved MCs to being so disrespected. And the funniest thing about this discourse is that they never have any solid argument on why Yuji isn't a good protagonist or why he's not good enough to progress the narrative. It's never something about his writing or his impact on the story. It's always the same comments, he's boring, he's not the MC, punch kick merchant or he's weak in quotation because Yuji is far from being weak. It's just that the characters next to him are just broken beyond belief. And the solution isn't just to give Yuji a brand new curse technique for him to keep up, it wouldn't work well. It's all about the progression throughout the whole story. I'm gonna go deep on that topic later on. And also I'm gonna talk about Gon because in excuse to mention Han Han is a good one. And I have some similarities I want to analyze about both characters. And I just love Han Han and Juju too. There's so many uh, similarities that Gege takes from Togashi. It's always fun to analyze and talk about both characters. I think Yuji is one of the best protagonists we've had a recent shonen. If I was doing a tier list with different MCs, he would be around 8 tier. He's still missing that character defining moment that truly makes him S tier or above the rest. He doesn't have something on the level of an adult Gon with all the narrative implication and how it ties back to Gon's character as a whole. Or Goku Gon Super Saiyan with him falling accepting his Saiyan heritage that was hinting throughout the whole Namek Saga and Saiyan Saga. Or Alan Walker realizing that he's just a vessel for one of the new ones, but still wanted to know the truth even though it could come at the cost of his existence or memories as Alan Walker faded away. The agreement is such a masterpiece, yeah I gotta go read it. But anyways, the argument of Yuji being a bad main character because he's weak doesn't make sense to me because they never have any argument to support their claims. If you don't like Yuji, good for you, I think you're missing out on one of the best protagonists we've had. And I would even argue that Yuji being at level he's at now makes him much more interesting to follow. JJK works well because we see through Yuji's perspective, it wouldn't be the same if we had someone else as a main lead. For example, I love Yuta, he's my favorite JJK character, but there's a reason he's no longer the main protagonist. A lot of the tension during the major fights will fall off, and many emotional moments when he the same because Yuta is just way too powerful for that. Yuji being a blank slate who is naive. Who thinks that he can save everyone works perfectly and we observe how the world is changing him over the course of the series seeing a main character having the ideas contradicted and challenging throughout the whole manga is much more interesting than having a character who has an unbreakable will and never questions himself slightly off topic but i think that tabata kind of messed up by making after way too strong i just don't see a way for him to lose he has a counter for basically everything in the verse and him being able to share entire magic personally kills the tension for every single fight in this final arc I just don't feel anything for them. And also, I think that Tabata should have shown us how Asa was able to get his new mindset because before that, we saw him at his lowest he's ever been since chapter 1. And then 2 chapters later, no context, no nothing, he's able to overcome his lack of self esteem without showing us how he's able to come to that conclusion. And for me, there was a moment there was a disconnect, but back to the topic, I want an intention for no reason. Yuji Itadori is honestly a tragedy. A boy who follows his grandfather's Daniel with so much that became a curse for him, a burden, a young man born just to be used as a tool, a Sukuna's vessel, someone who's well aware of his weaknesses, which makes him act like a cog for a cause greater than himself. Yuji's weakness is one of the best aspects of his character for me. It makes him vulnerable, it makes him human. He's unable to save the lives of the people he cares the most about but still pushes through and keeps going because he know what being a Jujutsu sorcerer means. And to me, that's so inspiring. And Yuji feels like a protagonist who gets no favor from the plot. If he was way too strong, we would have never had moments like the one against Maito or his confession against Sigiruma. Yuji shouldn't be judged by his lack of strength, but should be defined by his humanity. また新しい呪いとして生まれたらそいつも殺す名前を変えても姿を変えても何度でも殺す願死んで何百年も経った後なのかもしれない錆びつくまで呪い。Gon has surely been portrayed to be too weak or too strong. Even though he's very talented, he's still a kid, so it makes sense why almost all of his father are so close, when most of the time he just barely loses. One of the aspects about Gon's father that I enjoy the most is how close they are. There's so much tension during them against Hisoka, against Gendru, and against uh, Nako. And it also shows how Gon is pretty smart in the fighting situation. I'm gonna make a different video on Gon being a combat genius because I really think he is. And another one about Gon vs Gendru. I think it's the most underrated fight in Hunter Hunter. But I do understand why people don't mention him more in their favorite fights because Gendru is a pretty mediocre villain. 
but before this episode and cool i just have to talk about it later on one feels like his weakness is the reason why kai died and in a more twisted way when he finally got all the power he ever needed he loses himself in anger in sadness in rage in guilt in regret he got all the power he ever needed during that moment he was among the strongest in the universe but was it worth sacrificing everything we cared about? Kirua, Leorio, Kurapika, Jing, Aunt Mito. Was all that power worth giving up your whole life? On the final note, I really like that Gon and Yuji are protagonists that are influenced the more and more they are exposed to the reality of the world. It's not the fact that they get darker over the course of the series, but more about the morality changing or having a lack of morality like Gon. But that's all I gotta say for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and to subscribe if you enjoyed. And uh, stay safe.